All right, everyone, this is gonna be a quick video. I'm just gonna talk about a couple of new IPS patches that I just saw come out today, as well as some issues that I've encountered. One of the issues I've encountered was with the Legend of Zelda Link Awakens. I tried patching that with several different um, patches and I'm not able to get the right one. And I have somebody else who has some issues with that. So I'm gonna continue playing around with that and see if I can figure that one out. Uh, without further ado, let me show you some of the other stuff that just recently came out. So let's just do Dr. Mario real quick. It's a pretty classic game right here. You can tell this one works fine. Yep. Ah, this is a cool game. But yeah, so Dr. Mario works. Let's go to another one. There's another one that was Harvest Moon. I believe... Harvest Moon is anything like the Pokemon games, I believe there would be an issue with the real-time clock. I'm not too sure if they ask you to put in a clock here for this one. But hey, it works just fine. I know that's an issue with um, the other games, Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal have that issue, where you always gotta put the clock in when you go back in. That's gonna affect items like, for example, berries. I think that's really the biggest thing it's gonna affect. So, yeah, if you're looking to get berries out of that, you're not going to be able to. All right, let's look at, here we go, Wario Land 3 is another one. Let's see if this one worked. Yep, there you go. This one works. So those are the three tops that I wanted to show everyone. Now, another issue I ran across was trading. So, I've tested trading already before between cartridges on this system. But I seem to be getting an issue trading between a cartridge. I tried red, Pokemon Red, the actual cartridge trading with a Game Boy Advance. And now I tried gold trading with the EverDrive. And I seem to be going across the issue where it just doesn't recognize it. And this could be an issue just for just for the just because it's on the analog. So let's go through it real quick. Yeah, see this, this happened last time. Let's just try again. You know, maybe it'll work this time. Now I'll include the link like I did last time for everything, everything you need to look at. You can always just look back at my past videos for instructions on how to apply the patch. See, look, I can't get the trade across. The same thing happened with, with red as well. We can run through red real quick. The exact same thing happened with red. Let's go through red. We just wouldn't recognize it. Here we go. Turn this one off. The exact same thing happened. Now, I guess if you ever wanted to get your Pokemon out of this game, if this might never be fixed, would be to just take the save from within the SD card and just put it into a flash card like the EverDrive or just move it over with like a item like the Epilogue here. You can always just upload a save. So there are things you can do if, if you want to get them out of the game itself after you played them. Same problem. Let's go here. Let's try this again. Now, if I want to get this, this these Pokemon across, I just might put this one back into the, the EverDrive. Yeah, this just always says they're not ready. So, all right. That was just a quick video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Thank you everyone for watching.